Hey guys, welcome to another lunchtime review. Today I'm going to try one of these eating uh, eating well noodle bowls. This is the sesame beef and broccoli. It is grilled beef steak strips with udon noodles and broccoli in a sesame garlic broth. Looks pretty good. One cup of vegetables made with all natural beef. BPA free packaging. It's good, I guess. Uh, keep frozen. Made in Canada. Yay, Canada. Um, it is 10 ounces or 283 grams. We bought these at Meyer. They were $3.50. Um, they're in the frozen section. I did take the lid off. I read the directions, but I did take the lid off just to make it easier for this, um, for this video. Um, I'll get there. Calories in the bottom. So there are 320 calories for the whole bowl, so that's not bad at all. There's your other information for you. Um, okay, so the directions, yeah, it doesn't have any directions anywhere else, so here's the directions. You keep it frozen. Basically what you do is you remove the lid, which I did, um, from the bowl, peel film back halfway, add water to the fill line. You can see it's pointed right there, that green line right there. And if you let, want less broth, you can skip that step. I may put, um, yeah, I'll go ahead and fill it up. Um, place in microwave, on a microwave safe plate, replace film and cook on high for three minutes. Stir and replace film and cook on high an additional one and a half to two minutes. I'll probably just do one and a half and then let stand one to two minutes and be careful it's going to be hot. So I'm going to go ahead and do the broth because you know it's an option. If you didn't want broth, then you, you don't put it in there. Don't add water. So let's see if I can see this fill line from the side here. I have to be able to see it, not necessarily you. It's too much water. I see it now. It's right there. It's hard to see. I'm going to pour out some of that water. But anyway, I'm going to pour it out and get it down to the fill line. Um, cover this back up, get in the microwave, and I'll be back. All right, so here it is out of the microwave. It smells really good. It smells very garlicky, I have, I have to say. Um, and there's not a ton of beef. I mean, you see, like, there's a little piece of beef. There's a piece. Um, there's a couple here and there, but there's not as much as they show in the picture, I don't think. So anyway, I'm going to let this cool off because it's really hot, and uh, I'll be back. I gave it about a minute to cool off. So here's the bottom I'm gonna take. I can't really hold it too close because noodles will fall off like they did. Now I got beef, broccoli, noodles. Here we go. I like the flavors um, quite a bit. It's got a little spice to it. Not, um, not overpoweringly spicy, but it does have some spice, like a little tingle in the back of your throat. The broccoli is a little on the crispy side for me, but um, I'm sure if you're, I mean, it's not bad. I don't, I don't like crispy, crunchy, almost raw broccoli. I don't really like that, but this is a little softer than that. So it's a little, it's a little cooked more than just steamed or blanched. Um, so it is cooked more than that, but the flavors are pretty decent. Once I get that first bite out of the way, um, I haven't really got that spice too much anymore. The noodles are good. They're um, they remind you of a thick um, spaghetti noodle, like a really thick, fat spaghetti noodle. Um, that's kind of uh, size they are. Textures they're a little firmer than like a, a traditional pasta, so um, the noodles are a little different than that. And the steak itself, good flavors on the steak. Um, it's not super, super tender like a, like a roast. It's more like a flank steak. It's a thinly sliced flank steak. So it's a little tough, but not, not like tough. And the amount of water I put in here was perfect. It said for less broth. I can't imagine putting in less water or no water at all in here because it's really not, it's really not a lot of broth in here. I was expecting it to be soupy, but it's really not. Um, it was very hard to tell how much water to put in there. So I ended up dumping it out to where it was right even to the line, but it's so frozen at the bottom. It really doesn't uh, fill in all the gaps, you know, it's frozen, so it doesn't fill in. It's all filled in already. So, um, so it's really hard to determine how much. I would do it perfect this way again. I don't like a lot of broth, but I like a little bit of like the a juice in the bottom. So, um, so I like that this is a perfect, um, perfect amount of liquid. I like this. this. It's a good meal. It's only 300 and some calories, so I don't think that's bad at all. It didn't cost that much. Um, you can put it in the freezer, so that's a good thing. Um, 
I like the flavors. It's not overly garlic, but you definitely get a little bit of the garlic. Um, you get a little bit of the spice. You get a little tingle in the back of your throat. But like I said, you get used to that pretty quick. Um, and everything else is pretty decent. The textures are pretty good. Um, you know, overall, it's a pretty decent meal. It's not like over the top good, but it is good. So I'm going to give it a four out of five. Definitely one worth trying out if these flavors sound interesting to you. Just know that the uh, the broccoli is a little firm. So if you don't like a, a firmer, crisp broccoli or crisper broccoli, then you won't like this. So anyway, hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.